I was with a, a friend and we were, I was running a trail in Annadale and he was riding his bike. I just happened to look over uh, on, a, on a trail that was leaving the park and there was a guy laying face down. He, he was in a really bad way. He had um, blood and uh, foam coming out of his mouth. So we, we rolled him on his side and I cleared out his mouth. So around this time, he's, he's, we rolled him back on his back and I started doing chest compressions. And that's when somebody called from uh, up above on the trail and said, is everything all right? And everybody down there goes, no, you know, no, it's not all right. You know, I was trying to get his head back, get his airway open. and. Uh, it was very difficult and then he you know he still had the blood and the foam coming out and uh, I was kneeling down beside him and I looked at Sharon and Sharon was like looking at me and she had tears coming down she's like you gotta do it you know so I just uh, I did it and I was pretty traumatized right after that um, and we, we kind of just took off uh, shortly after this happened you know, there was a couple articles that came out and uh, they had known that I went to the hospital and uh, I said I didn't want to talk to um, Victoria, it was Carl's wife. They asked, you know, I guess she was asking to meet me and I was like, you know, I was pretty upset and I was, didn't think the outcome was going to be as good as it was. It was probably, you know, a month later maybe and uh, I was totally shocked. You know, for, it was like seeing a ghost. I mean, he, he looked like nothing had happened. One thing for sure is uh, in a situation like that, you never give up. You know, if I would have gave up and, and done nothing, and uh, things might have turned out differently. I'm, I'm just really happy that things turned out the way they did. He is an extremely well-respected man, uh, nice guy, uh, and and, you know, beautiful family. And the fact that, you know, his wife was pregnant at the time too, would just made it, you know, all the more amazing story. Um, I, I would absolutely encourage um, everybody to take CPR because you don't know what's gonna happen or, or who it could happen to. And it doesn't have to be an old person, you know, obviously. Um, but I, I think that is something that everybody should know.